Hi Aries, welcome to your July reading. So I really felt drawn to do your guys' reading right now, like today. I woke up this morning and um, I just I just felt such strong Aries energy around me. I was like, I'm going to do the reading for Aries. That's the first thing I'm going to do. <laughs> so I'm here. How was June? How was Gemini season? How was it to be in that airy energy when people come and move forward and speak the truth whether that's like pretty or not so pretty now we're coming into a much softer energy but it's coming up with tower moments but not negative don't don't persuade us negative it's just finally coming back into a Alignment with the emotional part, the emotional side of things, you know, which is a good thing. Trust me, it's a good thing for you guys because it has everything to do with how you feel towards yourself. How is your self-confidence level right now, here and today? How is it? What would you give yourself? Like what type of number would you give your self-confidence on a scale of 1 to 10? Really, really... Be honest with yourself. You know, I'm not saying how you persuade yourself towards the outside world, how others see you, how others feel your confidence level, you know, divine your little conf self confidence. I'm asking you to ask yourself how comfortable are you right now in your emotional aspects of things like. Are you comfortable with with how you did things? Are you comfortable with how you like what type of decisions you made these last couple months? Are you comfortable in your emotions? Are you go within? You know, or do you are you guilt tripping yourself or something? Because that's an Aries trait. You know, you guys are such sweet people. And sometimes you can just get a little caught up and make decisions really quick because you are air sign. So making a decision based on an impulse or something comes with that. It just does. And then after you have very big conscience, you know, you, you, you do. That's why I said Aries people have really, really, really big and great hearts. It's just sometimes you, your hair can get cloudy and the ego voices get really strong. And it's all out of fear. Fear, fear of failing, fear of people looking at you, not like the emperor, but looking at you maybe like the page of wands, you know. But look at that. I think you're on the right path, Aries. I think it's about restoring the fate in you, restoring the fate in self, restoring the fate in the pathway you've chosen, you know, you're on the right track. You know, it's keeping the faith. This month is about restoring that. Reclaiming your self-beliefs. Reclaiming your power. Standing in your own truth. Doesn't matter what other people say. I'm not saying their opinion, like what they think about you or what work you do. I'm saying like it doesn't matter what other people say that's coming up. You know, like... For example, I'm just giving you example like other readers or just anything. It's like, yes, the energies are there. There are eclipses coming, you know. We have an eclipse coming on the 12th. We have an eclipse coming on the 27th and in August. And we have the Mercury retrograde <laughs> that is starting as well at the 26th of July. So it's a lot of things going on. Yes, the energies are around. But I feel that you have the power right now this month to really use that as your advantage. You know, it's like sit down on the 12th, write down the things you believe in. What do you strongly believe? You know, 
where can you reclaim sort of like your power and your 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 truth i feel that is it doesn't matter what they're gonna say what's coming up you are really in control this month aries it all depends on how strongly no how how willing you are to come from a different standpoint you know the truth i'm hearing but not like the truth, like, oh my God, you lied and now you have to tell the truth to, out to an outside source. Now it's going within, you know? Don't be too hard on yourself. But also don't let yourself get clouded, you know? Clear things up. I see that for you with the eclipses, there is an opportunity for you to just see very clearly again, you know? Clarity. And you, like I said, you're walking the right path right now. It's beautiful, Aries. Let me see. Amen. That is it. You can, you can change and end cycles. It's like a new cycle is starting. What is that, right? What does that mean? You hear it all the time. You got new cycles. You got endings and new beginnings. It's something that everybody likes to say when it comes to sort of spiritual guidance or whatever, you know. What does it really mean? What does it really mean a new cycle? Is that like there is that is that like is it like a like a season? Is it like a time on it? Is it you know what is that? Well, what I believe with like new cycles, it's like on your soul's journey, on your soul path, you have to evolve in certain aspects. So when you come on earth, when you get born, you have a certain aspects of your soul. So like they said, like you have karma lessons you get with you um, from another life. Not necessarily because you did something wrong, no, but because you have to unlearn certain things in this life that you picked up on that life. Or you have to um, learn other aspects, you know, to learn how to reclaim your power, to stand in your truth, or to work through karma with money or anything, you know. Mostly has to do with self-love, often is, is combined with that. I feel it's like an, an evolution, you know. It's like you're going through a cycle, like a life cycle. Is it age bonded? I don't really think so, but I think in, in in a way, maybe in the beginning of your life or until you're like, I don't know, 30, maybe it does. You know, you go through uh, stages because your brain is still developing as well till you're like 25. So, you know, you learn different things. That's like physical body, you know. But starting a new cycle is about I've learned the lesson, you know. Learning the lesson from a certain cycle is ending the cycle. When you, for example, go through a lesson in relationships, and you that doesn't mean that when the relationship start stops, that particular relationship, that's the ending of a cycle. No, it could be been like three relationships after each other, and then the cycle is ending because after that third relationship, you saw the truth. You saw maybe that your energy attracts a certain people and you're evolving your energy or you saw that you can't self-sacrifice in relationship to keep the relationship going it doesn't work like that you know and and things like that once you get after, like for example maybe it's after your first maybe it's after your fourth relationship you get it and you're like wow i finally see what happened i got the lesson damn bum will card ending of that particular cycle you evolve to like the next you know your next life lesson your next evolvement of the soul until you like learned everything in this lifetime that you had to learn that you can learn and then you if you believe in that go through a next cycle or a next like another life path you know in another lifetime so what I'm trying to say is that I'm seeing certain end, ending of cycles. 
and it could a cycles could also be small it could also be a month it can also be a year it really depends on what your lesson is at but i'm seeing it has to do with you neglecting the emotional aspect of life you don't always have to be the emperor you know or the empress you don't have to always show up as the queen of wands you can also just be the fool sometimes or just be the king of cups you know being in alignment with your emotions coming and making decisions based from that you are a fellow cardinal sign you know cancer is also cardinal you, you have a lot of similar aspects that you can use during this season to so use those eclipses moment do some research on it to end cycles and reclaim your beliefs your self-belief what do you believe aries what do you believe not what other people say on the internet what you read in books not what you read on your feed and instagram not what they persuade as fashion not what they per persuade as truth not what they tell you it's positive what is your belief you have a very strong ability to have a certain belief as an aries you do you really do so what do you believe in? What is your truth? What do you believe makes you happy? What do you believe will will align with your soul, you know? And it could be in anything. It could be in anything. But it's the basis. It's the foundation of how you step into a relationship. How you show up at work. In what type of work you show up in, you know? How you deal with the relationships. Of with family relationships even. Or friendships. Or uh, how you take your time apart for yourself, how you develop and, and, and gain knowledge in the world, you know, how you show up in the world. Everything is the foundation, is the, your truth. What do you believe? I find that very important for you guys this month. That's what I'm getting very strongly. So self-confidence. And the self-confidence comes from self-belief, you know? And having your own truth, not the truth that you can find on the internet, not my truth. You know, not even that. I'm putting myself out of this situation. I'm just trying to guide you back to your beliefs. I'm not going to tell you what is right and what is wrong. <laughs> that is your life. You know, I can guide you a little bit, of course. And I will always try to give you guys something that you can maybe work with. Always will do that try you know but take it as it comes if, if it's not part of your belief then it's not part of your belief and not part of your truth like like you do i also have my own belief system and truths you know that sometimes is based on something that that i receive you know from my higher self in a way or from the universe and sometimes it, it is something that that is facts you know on earth as long as it's not coming and based on other people's fears and based created from the vibration of fear i can accept it as a truth if i feel like it's in alignment with me you know Bum. king of pentacles now that is something this is a man who's very aware of his knowledge very aware of what he can and cannot create he's very giving you guys are very giving whether you're a feminine or masculine energy is that you know even though you're an you're a fire sign you do you do appreciate when 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 things at home are stable you know and that, does, that doesn't always have to do with money and stuff. That does not. Uh, it has to do with, okay, I'm good and where I'm walking. I'm walking the right pathway. I'm feeling stable and I'm feeling, I'm feeling aligned with that, you know, and, and I'm ready to build a new foundation based on that truth that I have. You know, now I can see clearly, like, this is a person yes there is like there are right rules and stuff yes they are and, and and stability is important and home life too and that you share a lot but you won't over give you know the king of pentacles very interesting energy focus on the money i'm hearing <laughs> 
It's not always about the money, but money is energy as well. Maybe I'll do another video about that because it's just it's a long story. You probably always think, already think that I'm talking too much, but I have sometimes, uh, not a lot, just sometimes people comment on my videos, very rare, but that it's like, yeah, but get the cards out, but people think that I actually only read from the cards and I only get messages for you guys from the cards, but the cards are just a tool. I can do the reading without the cards, but I like to use them as a tool, you know? So I'm picking up on the energy, the energy are in the cards. So yes, they show me images and yes, they show me certain energies that I can pick up on and storylines, but I don't really need the cards to do a reading. But then I think that a lot of people won't align with it because they don't see it as a truth, <laughs> you know, but you guys know, I talk a lot, I know, but yeah, it's my, what am I supposed to do? Like just be silent and shuffle. <laughs> there we go. Two of cups and the seven of cups. me cats moon card and the lovers okay and what they're saying is pretty clear hold off hold off a little bit on making decision when it comes to love relationships Wow, you guys hear my stomach? I think I need to eat something. I'm sorry. <laughs> um, hold off a little bit during this season when it comes to making decision, when it comes to like the love relationship, you know? Um, I don't think that you see everything as is yet. It's a little cloudy. You're still like a little bit cloudy. You're about to come into this alignment, but you need this month first to really come in alignment with your truth, with your own way, so you can make a clear decision. There are some hidden things. There are some things that, that are not the way they seem. They can be less bad as you expect them to be. They could be different as you think, but they can also be worse than you think. You know, like, it really depends on your own energy, because it can go both sides with this. But <clears throat> could be... We're gonna put it on some signs. Could be dealing with an air sign because I'm having Aquarius and Gemini here. Taurus, I'm getting, but Virgo as well, but Pisces. Okay, now I've got everything. All right. <laughs> um, all the message that they're giving me with this is that be aware of that around the eclipses on the 12th and the 27th of July. It can get a little, not want to say uncomfortable, but it can get a little confusing. And that's why I said you have the power to use that energy in your advantage, but it could also throw you really off track. So you have to be focused on manifesting and taking control and taking your own power back during those nights and times, you know, those days. Uh, to be able to see clearly, but to hold off on making decisions when it comes to love, because I'm seeing that it's not as it seems. It's not. I'm hearing it's not as bad as it seems. So I'm not. I, I don't know if that resonates with you guys. Um, just know that around that time it can get cloudy. But I'm seeing you making decisions. Just don't over ru like rush that. Don't rush those decisions you're making when it comes to love. There's your tower moment. There's your eclipse. Like, it's like magic. It's like clarity. Oh, I'm hearing. I'm... Oh, it's like that. Okay. <laughs> like that, right? You're like, wait, what? Oh, it's, oh, oh. It's, it's like that? I don't know. I did not expect that. Like... That's what I'm feeling with this, <laughs> with the eclipses, you know. Let me see. This is also an option. Okay. 
okay this is not for all aries but i'm will i'm will um i'm sorry i am gonna to share it for the ones that it does apply with love relationship a person can make the decision to this other person the other person you're dealing with something can come to light that makes you feel very confused and sad and anxious and fearful um i don't want to be yeah i don't want to be too negative um i'm not gonna be too negative but the thing is is that sometimes it does that does happen you know there are some areas out here that that will go through that um i'm picking up is that finding out things that that you can't see right now uh and make a decision based on that but it's gonna come as a shock it's like i said it's something hidden and it's not as bad as it seems or it is worse than it than you think so it's gonna play out differently of course not every area is just like at the same level or um in their life journey of course or life path so that's different but that energy is around you guys so i want to give you a, a heads up on that one um but like i said we i said you this is also an option remember i said that just with the nine of swords this is also an option when it comes to those eclipses moments that energy it's an option you want to get you want to let it get to you you know you want to tap into the confusion tap into the fear tap into the anxiety the anxious feeling of it or do you want to take it on it's like you know what no that is not my truth that is a lie you know like i'm gonna focus on me you know how do i feel in alignment with my emotional side with my love energy instead of my fear you know this is fear this is in the mind ten of swords ending of that that's what i'm saying is ending of cycles very important month when it comes to that it can go with high highs and low lows, but you will come out as like refreshed, reborn, ready for Leo season, ready to roar, you know, ready for your fire brother or sister, you know, ready for to tap into that energy. But you got to go through this and it can be as pleasant and as unpleasant as you, you allow yourself to get into, you know, to tap into because this cycle is ending. It's going to come as a shock. It's not going to come like, oh, I'm just, you know, um, having a sit down and it's all going to be explained to me in a very loving and caring way. And I was like, truth on the silver plan. You open up the door and the truth is standing in front of your door, that type of moment. But you decide how you respond. You have always the power of how you respond to things like that. Are you ready to see it from a higher perspective? Or is it getting you into like that? The fear, the shock. It's not as bad. It, it is a really a beautiful opportunity to grow, you know? Let me, I spoke about this, so let's see what our, uh, other energy is coming up. Okay, can you leave? Yes. Sorry, Knight of Swords. <laughs> I was just looking at the picture. Um, Knight of Swords. Like I said, it's not going to come as like a very nice and calm and collected with cookies and tea type of sit down around the table. And we're just going to explain to you that, you know, like that. It's not, it's going to be an in, like an open up the front door and it's there. Bomb. In your face. And don't don't get fearful right now because the thing is it's an it's an it's the ending of the cycle you know so don't don't think it's negative don't think i'm trying to like scare you or something it's growth it's evolvement it's what is life is about you know it's what i said people always chase the paper and chase the money and chase girls and things like that do whatever feels good you know of course i'm not here to judge anybody it's just what i see you know around me and growing up um yeah okay 
Um, but if you think about it, if you really think about it, right? If you pass away, if you if your life here on Earth is over, you can't take that money with you. You won't be able to take any person with you. Um, the only thing you can actually take, and I will take to, I don't know, life another life, is your soul lessons, your soul evolvement. The work, the karma you you cleared up, the karma you worked through in this lifetime. That all the things, and the more you are in alignment with self, you know, the easier your life gets. But also, that's the only thing, really, the only thing you're gonna take when you you know physically disappear from this world in a way, right? When you pass away. So spending your entire lifetime of neglecting self, neglecting the lesson, neglecting the cycles, neglecting, neglecting the involvement, the growth is just going to set you up for another lifetime full of all these triggers, you know. And I'm not saying that you can't indulge in the 3D world, like, you know, of course, is we are here, it's real, it's life, it's reality, <laughs> it's really happening. Um, so, of course, you know, and of course the bills need to get paid and all of that. It's just like how much fear you're allowing into that. Because you can do both. You can see it from a higher perspective or you can get lost in thought, I'm hearing. This is fear. This is what people feed us. This is what we persuade of other people's truth based on us. And we can't fit in. So we get anxious. We feel like we're rushed. We feel like we're never, we never have enough time. You know, it's bad and boom. And, you know, ending of that cycle. <sighs> okay. Picking up a very personal message that I will share. I'm always trying to sort of not do it. Not, um, I'm going to get one more card first, babe. That's a beautiful energy. The cutting out the fear, cutting out the lies, cutting out the illusions and seeing as is, accepting your own truth, ready for a new beginning and coming up as the Empress. Wow. Wow, Aries. Seeing that self-worth, knowing what you can and cannot, you know, knowing what you can do and knowing what you don't want to do. Let me put it like that. Fruitful. After this cycle, you have a lot of potential to on this new path, on this in the new next level, you know, after this cycle. Personal message that I wanted to share for some of you. I feel it's only one person, so don't get afraid. Don't put in this energy like, oh my God, it might happen to me. Now, because you already kind of sort of feel it coming if it's going to happen. Um, there are some areas in here. And I'm picking up your energy. Maybe that was because I felt so drawn to the, this. Mm, I hate saying this, but there is somebody that's going to pass away. Yeah, there is there is some news, something quickly that's going to come in. Um, it's going to be about somebody's passing. And it's going to come as a shock. So I'm saying like, yes, you already feel it, right? That's what I said. You know this person is sick, you know. But it still comes as a shock. You still didn't expect it to be this, this time, like this month or... So it's a shake up, you know, um, I'm feeling like it's around 
14, 15, and I'm getting the 28, so that could also be that, but yeah, I'm getting something else, but I, I don't want to, I don't want to put that in your guys' mind, so if I read it between the comments, I'll let you know that that was what I got, but I don't want to get stuck in this energy because it's really for just one, maybe two people. But I wanted to share it and I want to share with you that you have the strength to overcome this loss. And that my, I'm sending you some positive energy. And please, if you feel that this is you, whenever you, read, you listen to this reading in July, um, please send me an email if you want to talk to somebody, you know, just... Please, like, emote, like, if you feel like it, of course, no pressure, but if you feel like it, so know that I'm here for you. Um, so thank you guys, all the other Aries that had the patience to wait for me to go through that message. I appreciate that. So I'm going to get a spirit message. I think that's important for you guys this month. Let's see. What do we got? I want something on the star part. There we go. Let go. <laughs> let go I'm getting I'm gonna read it to you guys that's exactly what I said you have an option I'm gonna read it once you let go of the outcome you'll be able to release all the emotional constraints that have hold you back in the past exactly what I spoke about right trust in the higher good and guidance of spirit as we have only your best intentions at heart and we'll do everything in our power to protect you. That's your truth. Told you like, come and make an alignment with the emotional aspect of things. What's there? What do you need to let go? What is adapted truth? What is things that people put in your head that's not your belief? That's not your truth? That doesn't add anything to your soul? literally to your to a condition of this of your soul you know that you gotta release this month and know that you're protected so whatever falls away in this month you're protected you're really protected that's beautiful it's actually really good reading aries i know it's intense i know that is opposite energies but you guys have to go through this and it's really beautiful what's gonna happen so don't worry about it i think i think august will be like that the you know things coming into fruition that just depends how deep you're gonna go during cancer season that's gonna depend on how fruitful your future is gonna be you know so if you've you know if you feel like sharing anything with me, feel free to leave a comment. I love reading you guys' comments, really, I do. Um, just thank you so much for supporting my channel and just sending me so always so much love and just support and trust, you know. It's just, it, it really means the world for me. And I'm going to take, like, some time, like, some time to, for myself in July as my birthday season. So um, I'll be back in August, of course. So good luck this month. Aries, you got a lot of potential to have to, you know, for it to be a great month. So good luck. I love you guys, and I'll see you in August. Bye. Bye, Aries.